So you're starting today wearing black? My what? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. It's either that or my funeral, right? <laughs> 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 How just your uh, general feeling about the uh, scrimmage, how it went, and what you saw? In yeah, the positives clearly are that uh, there wasn't a lot of uh, operational uh, mishaps. You know, we didn't have a lot of fumbled snaps, not a lot of delayed games, uh, not a lot of penalties. All that was good. Uh, that's part of being a little bit more disciplined and, uh, than we want to be. No turnovers in 111 plays, which is very good uh, for the offense. Obviously not as good for the defense, and that will be a challenge for them this week. Uh, overall, not in the type of condition we need to be. Uh, we don't play at the type of tempo, uh, tempo we need to play at, and uh, clearly uh, not the energy that I'm looking for uh, on either sideline, too much of a survival mode. Um, so that, those are the things that we'll be working on uh, on this week primarily. Did that surprise you because uh, I think you had mentioned that you thought your team was in decent condition? Right? Well, we're in better condition. I mean, you know, and, and again, we, it wasn't easy. I mean, it was a high tempo. Uh, you guys were there, most of you. so. It was very high tempo. They weren't quite used to that and how quickly we were going on and off. And then obviously we were moving the field uh, and players had a longer distance to run on and off uh, than we would in normally practice when we're standing behind. Uh, so I'm expecting, and that's the challenge for the team this week. Can we prepare? Can we play with Miami toughness? And, and will we start to play with energy and passion? Uh, and that's really the challenge, uh, leaving that field at noon and, and, and being on Travis Powell at 10 o'clock on Saturday. Was it like conditioning uh, among some players reflected on the depth chart you just put out? Sure, sure. Uh, because, you know, that, that's a, a direct function of how you execute it in, the, in, in how you perform. So what, what I, one of the things that I told the coaches on Sunday, and I came in and watched the whole thing, it was that uh, I want the depth chart to reflect uh, performance, not potential. You know, a lot of coaches get fired based on waiting for someone with potential to develop. And I don't want to, I want to, based on performance, uh, that's our depth chart. And then clearly there's battles within that depth chart that uh, we see every day here. You know, obviously you went back and looked at the film. Was there anybody that maybe you didn't think, you know, when you talked to us on Saturday that stood out that maybe caught your eye on film that, hey, this guy sure. really did say uh, that? Well, I know, I mean, Futch caught my eye uh, Saturday, but even more so with the film. Really liked the way he uh, progressed in, in Jimmy Gaines. Is another one. Travis Williams was another one. Those guys did, did a really nice job. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, clearly on offense, uh, Hagens did a real nice job. We hadn't seen that from him yet, uh, not just catching the ball but being physical. Uh, so I was excited about that. Uh, I thought we, uh, you know, I thought Jacory had a good scrimmage, you know, and uh, so I was pleased with that. So I'm sure there's other guys. Uh, Malcolm Bunch keeps coming to mind. Shane McDermott comes to mind as guys who did a good job. So. I hope I'm not you know, leaving anybody out, but I think we've communicated, communicated to the guys who we thought did a good job and who needs to improve. Another one, come, another one coming up this weekend. What's, what's the goals to be attained kind of this week? Yeah, well, again, just what I just said. I mean, we got we got to be Miami tough. We weren't quite that yet. We're not playing with the toughness that we need, uh, both mental and physical toughness. Our preparation has to be better, which means we have to get out of this. Uh, we only do what the coaches ask us to do. We have to get uh, more ownership from the units and from the particular positions. Uh, and then uh, we're not playing with the passion that we need, and that's not going to come until we get in condition. So a lot of that's got to be a big part of this week is, is getting used to that game tempo, getting in better condition, and then going out there and, uh, and playing with a little bit more energy, a little bit more passion. What did you see about Fudge as a performance that you liked? Uh, you know, because uh, it, wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't segmented off where he knew what was coming, you know, a perimeter period, an inside run period. Uh, a red zone period, a goal line period. He, you know, the ball was moving around, and he was reading his keys and, and, uh, and making plays. Um, so I thought he did a good job, and I thought he added a physical presence. I, you know, I thought really he looked like a 230-pound linebacker, and we don't have a lot of those guys right now, and, and uh, so that was nice to see. Do you have an idea of whether you feel like he fits better in the middle or outside? No, I don't. It's a good question. You know, we're going to you know, we're gonna work cut Kane at both spots now uh, just to make sure we get a look at him at both spots. Again, we're trying to... Uh, build depth with the numbers that we have right now, and then we'll add, uh, you know, four freshmen to that linebacker core. As far as as far as run stopping, how much can you overcome maybe lack of depth up front with scheme? Well, you're going to have to, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. If you're not as light uh, as you, uh, not as heavy as you like to be at the inside position, you're going to have to move more. I think anybody yeah, could understand that part of it. But clearly, our our lack of run stopping on Saturday uh, was a was a direct. Uh, a function of the, the X plays in the running game. Uh, gap integrity, uh, leverage on the ball, our force, 
uh, and those things that you know we can fix. And overall, our tackling needs to improve. How's Lee Chambers been doing with his continued development of that cornerback? Uh, good. I mean, uh, you know, again, we're knocking on wood here. Three days in a row, three good practices. You can see he's got uh, the tools that we need there. Uh, he's got to stay healthy. He needs a little luck, to be honest with you. Um, he deserves a little luck. So uh, we're anxious. If we get six more in him here this spring, uh, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a player there, and uh, he's been willing. And uh, I'm, I'm anxious to see him develop here over the last two weeks. Coach, how has Ja'Cory progressed over the last four months since you knew him at the end of November? Well, again, it's not really fair because I didn't really know him. You know, I just I'm no, I was no different than you guys. I, I watched him and I evaluated him, but I didn't really know him. And now that I've got to know him, I, 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 mean, I mean, he's engaging. He's a leader. Um, you know, we're trying to make sure he's making good decisions, you know, uh, you know, in the pocket and with the football, and he did that. I think six running backs, you know, caught the ball the other day, and I think that's a that's a testament to, to Jed and the quarterbacks, you know, understanding what that, how, how pivotal the checkdowns are and moving the football. When you break down film on him, is it more mental the errors, or is it more just mechanical, like not using his legs enough? And well, I mean, again, we're learning, and, and uh, we're learning about him. Uh, you know, he missed a, a checkdown, I think it was to uh, to Lamar in the game, and, and uh, no, it was to Higgins in the game, and he just didn't set his feet, you know. So just little things, and uh, we'll continue to work on it. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Do I have scholarships yeah, still open? Some, some, some.